And we're back with our very own entertainment correspondent, Francine Broca, who is here to give us some holiday fun and some good news. Francine, how are you? I'm doing all right. This pandemic has really taken a toll on everybody. But uh, I want to say that some of the celebrities have been going above and beyond to help uh, ease some of the stress and strain. Every week on Fridays for uh, 30 weeks so far, and you know my love of Dean Martin. Yes. Dina Martin, his daughter, does a Facebook Live concert. And you don't have to to um, have a Facebook account. You can just go on her website and watch it live or afterwards. She, she does about 30 to 40 minutes every week, every week. She talks about her dad. She talks about her uncle Frank Sinatra. Mm. She has stories from her past and she does some wonderful songs. And she also, she talks to, uh, to the fans, and she's, she's, she gets them from all over the world, thousands every week, and 100, and, um, let's see, no, for 30 weeks so far. Wow. She's, she's still going, so I think oh, I give her, her credit for that. That's and I look forward to Fridays, because yeah. that is just a, a bright spot in the week. What kind of music does she do? She does her old standards. She does a lot of her dad. Mm. She does a lot of Sinatra. She has several... Um, CDs or LPs out, and so she does songs from those. Mm. And uh, every week she'll pick one of her fans or one of her uh, friends who's having a birthday that week and sing happy birthday. And it's just like, when we're there, it's like a group. I mean, it's like a family. She knows a lot of our names now, and it's just so much fun. That it really great. has been Friday fun for her, with her. Where, where do we find her? Well, adinamartin.com. And if you have, uh, if you can go to Facebook Live, I, I guess you can do a, research, a search for uh, Dina Martin Live Concerts and it'll take you to there. But they're also on YouTube after the fact. And uh, I, I just love Fridays for that. And another celebrity who has been going above and beyond, and unfortunately he's over because there were 154 sonnets, 154 days, Sir Patrick Stewart has has um, given a sonnet. So, and oh you know, a fabulous actor. Oh. And listening to him orate these sonnets, it's it's like Shakespeare right there. I mean, he is so cool. I just also I just love listen to his sonnets. Pardon? Is that also on Facebook? Um, no, it's on. Well, I see it on Twitter. Okay. I don't know where else it is, but I'm sure. Um, I'm sure there, there are other sites that hold it. Maybe YouTube, I'm not sure. But every week on Twitter, there's a pop, my thing pops up and it's a Sir Patrick Stewart sonnet number, whatever. And he's, he's gone- Shakespearean up. sonnets, correct? Yes, I did, yeah, there's 154. Can you that imagine? That is awesome. I cannot wait to go on there and see how he expresses the Shakespearean sonnets. I remember taking- <laughs> A Shakespeare class when I was an English major in college and like understanding about half the words, you know, and it's <laughs> going to be really fun to see how he expresses it and, and brings it to life. I mean, it's, it's like going to a play, mm -hmm. you know, you hear it and it's, it's, it's really cool. Honestly, it really has been a phone book and that would just, I would listen to him read the phone book. <laughs> yeah, he could, he could. But I know, did you see him on Charlie's Angels, the new one? No, he was fantastic. He was, <laughs> really, he was the bad guy. Really? He does, he, everything he does is fabulous. I, he's, he's so amazing. He is so amazing. But between his sonnets and Dina Martin's songs and stories of the Rat Pack and everything, it's, it, it helps alleviate some of the stress that, that we've all been going through. Yeah, and I feel like alleviating stress is something that we're all leaning more and more towards. Like we really want to just like, we all want to get back to normal, but we know that we can't yet. And so, yes. and it, and that's one thing that I've noticed is like a lot of people um, in our various, like in work and everything, they're starting to become more transparent and just say, oh my gosh, this has really just been a difficult year. 
Yeah. Not only even people who are employed and their jobs haven't changed that much and everything. It's just the weight of the world, truly. It's it's, exhausting. Exhausting. it's, it's weighing on everybody. It's weighing on everybody. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we are so conscious now of, of um, germs and bacteria and all that, that um, Raycock is a wonderful, wonderful company. And I have several of their... Uh, sanitizing uh, products. They, wh while we're filming, I'll let you know secret. We're filming right now, but and this this device has not hit the market yet. But by the time this show airs, it'll be there, and people can get the first ones. It's called Raycock Go. Let me grab it here. It's so small. I mean, it, and it comes wow. apart. You put what it if in. You and you can put it in your in your uh, travel case, and you know when you go to and it's a sanitizing um, uh, uh, vacuum, oh. so it has UV light. When you go to hotels, and I had the opportunity, unfortunately, to go to a hotel recently, and they said that the the sheets were sanitized and the and the remote was sanitized, but there's a couch in there that's not sanitized, mm -hmm. and I have always thought. You know, who's been doing what on this couch? <laughs> in normal times, I have that thought. <laughs> yeah, totally. This, this is such a small thing, and it will give you, um, it, you just, uh, you know, use it like a, like a little wand, like a little um, uh, vacuum. What a good idea. And, it, and it's, I, you, you can rest at ease knowing that the germs and the bacteria, and it also the allergens. That, that's a big one for me, is the allergens. That's interesting. Yeah, I guess that's the funny part is when you used to think, what are people doing here? Now you're thinking, geez, did anybody sneeze here? <laughs> it's so funny. That's so true. It's um, one of my favorite memes uh, one of my friends sent me, and it, it showed a picture of a birthday cake, and it said, remember when we used to all sit around and blow on each other's cake and then give it to you for your birthday? That was oh. awesome. <laughs> and, and, it and you're like, that's disgusting. <laughs> you realize how disgusting some of those you things really, are. You don't think about it until like now. I don't yeah. know if we can ever have a birthday cake again with a candle, <laughs> you know? So it's, we don't it's, even like the candles anymore. We put them in and we sing, but we don't light candles. I just get a fan and blow them. <laughs> Yeah, or there and then take them out. Nobody wants to spit on their cake and then give it to them. No, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That's one. That's one no. tradition that may not last after COVID. Right. Yeah. Well, speaking of holidays, this is the holiday season, and we always look forward to the Hallmark countdown to Christmas. Yes. Hallmark holidays are really big this year, and uh, I know a lot of the new movies that are coming out, the brand new holiday movies and the old ones that we all love. Uh, but they've gone a little bit above and beyond right now with a new wine, Hallmark Channel wine. I love them yeah. even more. I totally love them even more. That is fantastic. <laughs> None of us have been drinking too. enough during this pandemic. That's true. Jingle is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Joy is a um, Sauvignon Blanc, and they are available to order on hallmarkchannelwines.com. You can order one, you can order so, as many of you uh, as you want of a specific one or combinations or whatever. They make fabulous gifts, especially for people who want to go and watch their Hallmark Channel movies uh, and just cozy up in the evening with the uh, Christmas movies and um, get in spirit. <laughs> I love that as the holidays are approaching. So, yeah, well, so last, Christmas, last Christmas, last Christmas with a girlfriend, I got a pair of socks that said, leave me alone, I'm watching Hallmark movies. I think if I add the wine to it, people will really take me more seriously. <laughs> well, yeah, you need, you need the wine. And I mean, come on, Jingle and Joy. What names? <laughs> so great. They are just, uh, yeah, they're, they're fun and they add a little bit of extra. I mean, th this is a weird year. This mm -hmm. is a very strange year all around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, whatever anybody can do to help make it more fun and in light 
And I mean, we're all bogged down in all this crap all the time. Mm -hmm. So um, to you and to fans and the, the viewers, cheers. Thank you, Francine. That was so much fun. <laughs> that was, and now I'm so excited to go watch Hallmark movies and go, you know, escape in them. And there's always a happy ending, and it's that's. Really and the towns awesome. are always beautiful, and I always oh, take yes. my tour there and spend the holidays there myself. So, well, we yeah, Hallmark it. always leaves you feeling good. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's no question at the end. You always feel like. You're satisfied, mm -hmm. and uh, that—that's—that's that's the mark of a really cool, a nice way to end a movie or an evening, and a great way to end 2020, right? Hallmark movies where it's a happy ending. So it is kind of how you feel whenever you're on the show. You always bring us happy, fun news. <laughs> thank you so that's much. That's true. Cheers, Francine, and thank you so much. Cheers today. Thank you. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.